So I was watching this uh, basketball game last night. It was the Memphis Grizzlies versus, uh, I can't even remember who it was. The Knicks. The Grizzlies versus the Knicks. They was playing in Memphis. Uh, John Morant was struggling. Kyle Anderson was struggling. Like, DeAnthony Melton struggling. You know, Zaire. All the guys were struggling on the squad. They ended up winning the game at the end. But it took me back to when I played college ball. And my sophomore year, we had an okay record. Now, the thing was, sometimes the position is established. Like, somebody lets you know, hey, this is what you're going to do. This is where you're going to go. But a leader, there's never a time when somebody be like, you're the leader. You just got to step up and do it. So I remember us going, like, we did okay I, uh, my sophomore year. But we ended up going to the the conference championship. But my coach would always say throughout the out throughout the uh throughout the season, somebody's gonna have to step up and lead these people. Now the whole time he could have been talking to me, I just never caught on to it. But it was a reason I was coming off the bench. You know what I'm saying? Like all this stuff I'm starting to evaluate now. I should have been the one to like, you know, so now when I got to my next school, me being more vocal, hey that's not your position no more. You know what I'm saying? So Learn how to lead, lead in your life, lead in your finances, lead in your, you know what I'm saying, spirit, your mental, your health, your relationships. Learn how to lead. And sometimes leading isn't in the front. Sometimes on the side and sometimes it's from behind, like pushing people forward. And the thing is, a good leader can listen. You know, he can sit and listen. He doesn't step over anybody, you know what I'm saying? So... I was watching uh, Steve Nash, I'm looking at him, and the way he's talking to his players, like they had him mic'd up, he was asking the guy something like, okay, so what did you see? Like, what happened? Why did you make that mistake? And the player explained, like, I thought this would happen this way, and Steve was like, okay, so what do you think you need to do to fix it? And he gave him his opinion, and Steve Nash was like, okay, I would do this. And now, like, that's that's great. like. This is why I said film was so important in basketball. Like, we didn't really watch film like that where we had a coach come and break down every single thing about us, like different points of position.